Greetings, dear friends. Greetings, lovers of freedom. I greet every one of you. Greetings, dear friends. Greetings, lovers of freedom. Greetings and ambulance. Please, as you get this message, share it. Tag the executive governor of Anambra State if it if it's possible. Before I proceed, my name is Maze Achebepol, M A P Ezokubund One in Biafra land. And I greet every one of you. Please, I have a message for the executive governor of Anambra State in the person of Professor Charles Chukoma Soludo, the executive governor of Anambra State. This is my message to you, Professor Chukoma. Do not make Anambra State ungovernable to you. Do not make Anambra State ungovernable to you. Now, why do I say so? Listen attentively. You will be the one to use your hands to create problem that you cannot solve in Anambra State. You will also be the one to prevent that problem if you wish. I want you to know that there are some certain people, there, is, there are some group of people who are waiting for you to make a slight mistake, who are trying to push you to make a mistake so that they will capitalize on that very mistake to wreak havoc in Anambra State. They want you to start fighting IPOB. They want you to start fighting ESN because they know fully where nobody can fight IPOB and win the battle. They know fully well that nobody can fight ESN and win the battle because IPUB and ESN are volunteers. You cannot defeat a volunteer army, army of volunteers. Now, in case you don't know, let me tell you, if you don't know the reason why ESN was formed, which is the Eastern Security Network, if you don't know the reason why it was formed, I will explain it, the reason why ESN was formed. And I will also explain the reason why those people want you to start fighting IPUB and ESN so that you will understand it and make this point because they are very determined. Take the point. These people are very determined to push you and to start doing what you cannot finish. Now, Eastern Security Network, ESN, was formed because inside few years ago or some years back, the Flanny hence men were on rampage in Biafra land. They were raping our mother, killing our father, destroying our crops, making the land, in, in fact, making uh, the Biafrans who are into agriculture, who are into farming, they made their life unbearable to them. They frustrated them that our people can no longer go to the farmland to do anything. At this point, everybody were crying for help. The whole Eastern governors were hopeless and helpless. Or Hanez and Dibo were hopeless and helpless. The traditional rulers were hopeless and helpless. The whole Igbo leaders were hopeless and helpless. Nobody can help any person. Our youth, we are dying every day in the hands of Flani terrorists. Our young girls are being raped every blessed day in their stream. Our mothers are being killed and raped, slaughtered in our farms, same thing to our age fathers. Nobody, can be, nobody was able to go to the farm again. Until Mazinam they can say no. I can't fold my hands and watch Fulani terrorists take over my land. And he established the Eastern Security Network to safeguard our bushes and our forests. That is why our ESN always operate in the bush and our forest. You can never see them in the town. They don't come to the town. They don't come to the street. You don't see them in the market. 
Now, since the establishment of Eastern Security Network, ESN, the activities of the Fulani henchmen were being checkmated, and the, the raping and the, the killing and the destroying of crops stopped because of ESN. And that was the purpose of establishing the ESN. That is the reason why ESN was established by Mans Nandekan, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Now, the reason, the second point is this, the reason why those people want you to start fighting IPOB ESN and who are these people. Before I, I go further, let me give you a little bit flashback, if you can recall. In 2003, 2004, 2005, if I'm not mistaken, during the time of Dr. Chris Mwabeze Ngige, he was Anambra state governor then. After he was elected, his godfather was Chris Uba, a younger brother to Andy Uba. Andy Uba masterminded the kidnapping of Chris Ngige, the then Anambra state governor. Because of his, uh, his disobedience to Chris Uba. You can remember what happened to Anambra State stations under this very man. They make life unbearable to Chris Ngige and they make Anambra State ungovernable for him until they remove him. Today, Anduba contested under the platform of APC vampires. And you defeated him because the people choose you over him. Today, the same Anduba want you to start fighting IPOB. The same Anduba want you to fight ESN, knowing fully well that you cannot defeat ESN, knowing fully well that you cannot defeat IPOB. Knowing fully well that once they push you to embark on the journey of fighting IPOB and ESN, the people will hate you, the people will turn against you, and they will make an Anambra state unbearable and ungovernable for you. These are the group of people. They want to take over the power. They want to turn the people against you, and they want you to hate your own people. Because any person, anyone who starts fighting his people will definitely hate his people and the people his, uh, his people will hate him. Now, they want to remove you if you, if you start it because that is their plan. The, the Fulani Caliphate want you to start fighting IPOB. The Fulani Caliphate want you to start fighting ESN because that is one of their strategies. They will turn you against your people so that your people will hate you. When they will come for you, your people will turn their back on you. You will be left alone and they will destroy you. That is their strategy. Now, that is the reason why they are telling you to start fighting IPOB. The unrest you see today in a number of states, I want to tell you one thing. The unrest... The sit at home is not only in Anambra State, it's all over Biafra land and it's all over the five states of the of, uh, of, of uh, five states that made up Igbo land in Biafra land. If you want to solve this problem, Mr. Soludo, you are educated, you are a professor, you know it, you know how to go about it, you cannot solve it alone. You cannot solve it within Anambra State alone. You cannot stop it in Anambra alone. No. For you to solve this problem, you have to call all the whole Eastern governors, Eastern politicians, Eastern traditional rulers, Eastern every leader in East. You have to come on a round table with meet your counterpart, the South South, as they call them. We call them Biafra Coastal Region. Have a round table with them. After the round table, you will, your people will discuss on how to free Mars in Namdekan unconditionally and on how to go for Biafra referendum. 
that is the only solution to solve the to stop the unrest in Anambra State in the east in Biafra land today. You cannot stop it alone. You cannot do it alone. You cannot. I am telling you the truth. To be honest, you cannot stop it. After your roundtable with your counterpart from the south south, you then go to Abuja, present Biafra referendum and unconditional release of mass in Amdekan, that alone is what will stop the unrest in the whole Biafra region. And we will have our referendum. After we conduct our referendum, we decide if we can stay in, an, in, in Nigeria or we have to go our own. It's all about voting, yes or no. That is the solution. I want you, Mr. Professor, Professor Chukuma Soludo, Mr. Governor, I want you to know that these people want you to, they know fully well that, that the moment you start fighting IPOB, the moment you start fighting ESN, they know you cannot, that journey they are pushing you to embark, they know that you cannot finish the journey. They want to take you out of the road. They want to instigate you against your own people. So the solution to you now, Mr. Governor, seek ye wisdom and make a history by going for Biafra referendum. That is one of the reasons why you are elected as governor. That is one of the major reasons. As an Igbo man, as a Biafra. Remember you said on Channel TV that you cannot kill ideology with a gun. This is your word. And I, 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 I hold you on your waist. Now, those people that is pushing you to start fighting IPOB, start fighting ESN, have you forgotten that you cannot kill ideology, that IPOB is an ideology, therefore it's an ideology, ideology, you cannot kill it with a gun? So why can't you apply that to your knowledge and wisdom at this particular time, at this particular point, to get the real solution? You said you are solution the solution. This is the time for you to show your wisdom and knowledge, your experience as a professor. Come up. The only thing is a roundtable talk. Don't start a fight with your own people. Don't allow them to push you. The major reason, the moment you start fighting IPOB, and do, but those people who want to Want you to who want to take you out of the road? They will have bring in their missionaries. They will be the one burning the police station. They will be the one killing the police officers. You will think you are fighting IPOB. Your political opponent will make the government the Anambra state very hot for you. And Uba will make Anambra state very ungovernable to you. Chris Uba will make Anambra state very very unbearable to you. Prevent all those things by dialoguing, make, looking for people to go for Biafra referendum and the, the unconditional release of mass in Namdekan. Because the moment you start, even if you say it with your mouth, you didn't say it, they will start doing something. The burning of police and the, everything you are seeing is being carried out by this set of people. Devil Mahi, uh, Anduba, all this APC governor with hope, Zodima, they want to take you out and they are using somebody somewhere, one gumi of you do, to do that. IPOB is not a criminal. IPOB is not a violent movement. We are very peaceful movement. Don't look for our own trouble. Nothing can stop IPOB, nothing can stop us from restoring Biafra because we have vision and we are on a mission. That vision is Biafra. Our mission is to restore the Biafra. Know it, like I told you, like I'm saying it now, once you start fighting ITOV, they will make sure that they bring their flani to be burning police station, burning, killing any uniformed man in the name of, they will disguise themselves as IPOB ESN which they are not. And then you will leave developing a number. You will leave 
everything you are about to do and insecurity will take over Anambra State. If Anambra State go down in your own regime, bear it in mind, you will go down in history as the worst governor of Anambra State. History will never forget him. He will be remembered for evil. Don't allow your people to rise against you. Don't allow people to use you against your own people. Remember their strategies, the Fulani Caliphate. They want to take you out. Unless you are willing to serve the Fulani Caliphate and your people will hate you, then start up a fight. You know you cannot see the end. And uh, at the end, you will lose and Biafra will come. Mazin and Kano will be released. Like I said, the problem, you cannot solve it alone. It must be solved generally. You cannot kill ideology with a gun. If you know what is good for you, if you want all the, the, the unrest to stop, gather all the whole leaders, go for a referendum, go for unconditional release of Mazin and Mikan. The crisis is not only in Anambra. If you stop Anambra, can you stop Imo? Can you stop Abia? What of Ebony? What of Enugu? What of Delta? What of Cross River? All those places, they are their front line, and the same thing is going on. So use your head before they will use it for you. Don't allow people to push you. Do not make Anambra State ungovernable for yourself. That is all I have to say. Once again, my name is MAP Ezioku Bundo 1 in Biafra land. Remember bless and don't forget, share this video and remember bless to you. Almost here, Biafra. IPOB, one family.